The first thing you want to think about for a surf perch is having the right gear. Uh, so you'll want a six to eight weight rod, nine to 10 feet long. Um, you want a sink tip line. Uh, stripping basket is helpful in the surf for organizing your line and preventing any tangles. And then uh, waders and a, you know, a good jacket out there uh, to keep dry in the surf. Uh, you want to pick the right spot. So a lot of conventional surf perch knowledge is geared towards steep beaches with deep shorelines. Uh, but if you're fly fishing for them, you want to be wading. So you want more flat, dissipated beaches where you can wade out into the surf and then cast to deeper water. You want to pick the right day to get out there. Uh, you want an incoming tide and fish up around the top of it like the last two hours of the incoming and the first two hours of the falling tide. Um, it's always better out there to have good cloud cover. Uh, those fish feel a little bit more comfortable in shallow water when it's darker outside. You want low swells, so you know really nothing over seven feet and then under five is ideal. And uh, you don't want it to be too windy out there. You know, the, the less wind, the better. Yeah, stop by Mad River Tackle and come talk to us about, you know, where we fish for them around here, the kind of stuff that we look for in terms of beach structure, and then picking out the right flies to get out there and get a few bites.